Welcome to Oral Hygiene. It's the podcast where we talk about educational films, experimental films, caught films, and interesting documentaries. We're on the experimental kick today. This being Matt here with me today is Scott Atkinson. Say howdy. Greetings one and all and a howdy too. When, when I first got your name sent to me, because we were co-workers once upon a time, it, it, was, it all came to me as Scoot. So mm-hmm. I wonder if you should switch your name to that. And just go by Scoot. Something more futuristic. Yeah, I mean, of the Scoot is Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably a little bit more erudite than Scooter. Yeah, something like that. But, <laughs> Scooter's a Muppet. Yeah. That's cool. Everybody mm-hmm. likes a Muppet. <laughs> today's yeah. film i gotta get the order of words right is dog star man by stan brackage having nothing to do with dog man star by album suede which i always thought that was like a connection but apparently it's mm. not yeah i know when i was doing a little bit of the um post you know like the a little bit of the the research um to this and having checked out you know of course suede before um i was a little surprised to learn that uh, at least the lyricist claimed there was no um, connection to brackage's work so. we are the pigs uh, he should have said of course that was a reference because like why wouldn't you want to reference like pretty groovy i mean uh yeah yeah that's uh because i think he was referring to it like suede's evolution as a band but um I think you could definitely fit Brackage's vision in there too. I mean, uh, no, like I, I, was, I, I didn't quite, I never quite worked out what the connection was and there isn't one. So I guess it doesn't matter, but uh, it, it always occurred to me that that yeah. should be a thing, but. Um, yeah, for, cause it's a very tenuous connection. I think they made out cause I, I, I'd suit that as Brackage. You know, it's, I guess it's all a serious thing, is it? It's serious, this is a serious man. <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, Suede's album, you know, of the similar name, Dogman Star, actually 30 years after Brackage, I mean, was quite, I, th- I think, you know, some of the critics at the time says pretty overblown and pompous. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think the evaluation of it's changed a little bit over the years, but. Um, I feel like it's kind yes, of well received. It's just, it has like, you know, each song has like 37 guitar overdubs, which is slightly mm-hmm. insane, but, you know, what can you do? Yeah, because, you know, I think Brackage was definitely coming from a, a, a different place. There's something more organic and homemade. I mean, yeah, this is know. a very different thing, of course. Can you tell us what happens in this thing or can you try and describe this thing in, in a short summary of sorts? Yeah, it's kind of like a like a nonlinear experience, sort of like if you had um, like the experience of life, if you took away time and space into the equation. So you've sort of got like um, maybe, you know, for example, like the Australian Aboriginal dream time concept where like the dreaming where you've got past, future and present all sort of mixed into one. But basically um, you've got this, um, a woodcutter heading up into the hills to cut down a, I think it's a dead tree, but um, you know, there is the process for tree to be cut. And um, you've got this whole experience happening in in between and beyond and on top of it. It's quite a quite a montage. Yeah, you I know, mean, macro I, I, and micro. Almost facetiously going at you with like, give me a summary. It's like you know, mostly just um, it's, it's that, like that Pokemon episode that's supposed to cause uh, epileptic seizure seizures. This one's supposed to cause like metaphysical seizures. Mm, 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 mm. yeah i mean um yeah it, it's really hard to um to clearly encapsulate what it is but um yeah but basically it's it's a trip up into the hills yeah so it's a shoegazy so a, a jaunt and, uh, well don't forget all the all the blood and the childbirth involved too that's a that's the other side <laughs> of the particular coin right yeah, the, the jaunt of life. Yeah. Now, something I yeah. saw just, um, I think it was a, maybe a YouTube comment, but uh, just mentioning that the idea is to watch this film silently. Like you're going to be in a theater, yeah. I guess, for an hour, or maybe you are supposed to watch yeah. these in the prelude and the four, you know, variously yeah. length segments. But I wasn't going to sit around and watch this silently. So um, d- did you? 
No, no. Um, it was a good point. I was actually going to get around to that. Um, I don't know if, yeah, I mean, there is no sound or anything to this. So I was listening to uh, Bowie's uh, Black Star album. Okay, that seems uh, to work. Uh, I'll so tell this you. Is a nice sort of backdrop here. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to repeat music. So I actually played, I played the music we made, the Damage Tape Conflagation oh. of Nibiru album. I played that over yes, 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 it for a while. Sure. Yeah. And that was okay. And then I yeah. put on uh, for a while uh, John McLaughlin's uh, My Goals Beyond. Yeah. yeah. And then I put on this like thing that was just on my hard drive, like from a band camp download. Like, it's called Planes, like P L A E N S. The mm -hmm. album's called Cabin. It's just one track. And holy God, that one just like, I was like, wait a minute. It's, uh, I, I, I got confused and thought like that was the sound that was actually supposed to be in the movie. So mm, uh, that's interesting. I'll give a shout out to this obscure oh, band from this album. It's just, 2011 so who knows mm -hmm. what the deal is there it's just something that was on my hard drive and i cool cover i was like cover looks brackagey i mean half the album mm -hmm. covers in the world look like shots in this movie you know including some mm -hmm. we've made so what can you do but uh <laughs> yeah 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 because um i would like to um listen to it I, I think maybe in the past no actually i don't think i've listened to it in pure silence because um the last time i i watched this I, i've seen it a couple of times but um i was actually at work uh doing some unbooked lessons and just um the drone of other instructors lessons it's uh it's a little bit distracting sometimes so uh, you didn't show to your students <laughs> some of them would be up for it but uh yeah yeah i mean I, I think uh folks here could definitely connect with it i mean you know, i'd like to know what they'd make of it though it'd be, so it'd i mean this is a weird thing i mean brackage is something you can't it, like really I mean, explain although people you know get it once they start seeing it, it, it like what he did does permeate into other things you know like movies like the tree of life the opening of mm -hmm. seven you know all these things mm -hmm. like obvious they're taking after Brackage, it, it did eventually enter the pop culture mainstream, but like sort of as a technique, watching a film of all this stuff of just like mm. random cutting, scratching films, you know, like unidentifiable psychedelic images. I mm. mean, that, that you get an hour plus of that here. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. And I think like with shamanism, I mean, you can basically, you know, with regional variations and things and differences in perception but basically i think you know every culture could make something of it you know if, um, you know right. if you had like everyone in the, the globe or the galaxy sitting down together i mean uh might be an interesting sort of uh, and after the titles you know this movie starts out in complete darkness just like weird wisps of light mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. flash and i'm like oh that that is the um the conscious entering into dreams more or less mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. you know the, it's all, the child it's like, in the womb the woodcutter's dream yeah with uh, with images of you know birth or whatever um it, 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 he did that in like multiple films this isn't the only one yeah 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 it's a bit like sort of you know plato sort of doing his uh you know you know caving it up you know sort of you see like the little bit of the flickers of light on the wall and, uh, it really is sort of a, a motion picture lava lamp, you know, in very speed film. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, because, you know, it does um, start off quite, um, quite slowly, because I think for the first minute or so, you have almost pure blackness. And you see like some little streams and pulses of light starting to come in. And, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a nice effect, actually, because, you know, in this, you know, like in modern times where everything's super frenetic and people seem to be like in a, a, a real hurry to get from A to B even more than before, um, this is quite a nice way just to sort of slow down and, uh, and then just speed sort of up and blast your go with the flow. With insane imagery. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Yeah, well, I mean, um, I it reminded me kind of reading the, and I've read it quite a few times, actually, the uh, Tao Te Ching, you know, one of the mystical books of Taoism. And, um, you know, uh, it's purported to be from, uh, uh, written by Lao Tzu. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's basically sort of, um, you know, it's like a visual depiction of you know, thought processes, but also where things come from. And, yeah. Well, there's all yeah, the repeated the contrasts in here. And, 
I mean, we mentioned the childbirth stuff and the blood and the gore. Involved, I guess involved with that. I mean, you don't even know what you're seeing half the time when you see that stuff. So, uh, you know, am I, am I seeing something absolutely insane or not? It's like I don't even know. We get snowflakes, and then we get all the yeah. uh, we get all the Corona man in this 1961 to 64 film. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just yeah, because those solar flares, right? Yeah, I mean, they were pretty, pretty damn amazing. Uh, right but that and they're they're quite used heavily to too. yeah yeah they um faces of the moon um quite quite beautiful um superimposed over um human images um and it's quite nice too because it's not cold or sterile because you've got the um you know a lot of human warmth there too you've got like sort of writhing or you know pulsing bodies and things like that it's almost like the process of you know creating the life to come and uh, yeah, so it's quite a, um, yeah, it definitely has like a very strong human component there too. So it's not I also like thought, clinical. Uh, is it like sort of a, uh, an attempt to sort of illustrate the passage through a bardo or something, you know? Because <laughs> yeah, well, like, again, with the, the entering the red and the, the dreams, well, yeah, just the entering the dream at the beginning, it's darkness, there's flashes of light. I mean, I, I wonder if that's entering a bar, though, one that you can mm-hmm. experience on a regular basis if you feel like it, because the, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the death one is is the death one, the birth one's the birth one, you know? Obviously, if you're mm-hmm. hanging out on Earth, you're not going to be uh, experiencing those. Uh, well, uh, who knows? You might be experiencing it very soon, but you don't know that, and uh, then, then you're finished. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, this sort of reads like sort of a metaphysical sort of treatise, you know, um, that, you know, it's like a kind of shamanism and uh, yeah, you've got a lot of the polarities there, but I was also thinking like, you know, Tibet Book of the Dead, you know, you've got the, the red and the blue lights and things like that, and, uh, the darkness, and the the very sort of nebulousness of the, the thing too. It's like very um, hazy, like you said before, you know, you don't always know what you're seeing. So um, yeah, it's kind of interesting the way things manifest and and disappear and it's quite vague at times fuzzy i did uh just have like a little ghost um conversation in my head you know from the film lab coming to to stan and being like ah oh, sorry stan your your footage came back from the lab and it's all fucked and no no that's great that's great yes just throw some razors at it and see what happens you know <laughs> i mean you know we've, we've made some- go with the floor yeah yeah, I mean, we, we've we've made some films, and um, usually I'm like, bracket it up more, bracket it more, faster, more, more clipping, more clipping, scratch it, scratch it. But I mean, you know, digital, it's not. I mean, it still takes work digitally, but if you do it analog wise, it's like insane, you know. I mean, he actually had to sit down with like film and manipulate it, and you know, edit it analog style, and even with no sound, that's a pretty wild ride to take. Yeah, I mean, and at a cost to the health too. I mean, uh, you know, there's aniline in um, the paint. The aniline compounds are toxic to the human body. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that I, was I his that, claim, right? When he was uh, busy Brackage dying. Brackage believed that, uh, yeah, with, I think it was bladder cancer, but there is a supposedly some strong connections between aniline, so analyzing. Uh, did he decide it was worth it? I guess bladder. the thing, did he decide that was worth it? I, I forget the context. <laughs> it's okay, man. I was working I, on stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think um, I've never heard of him regretting anything or that, that sort of meme coming through. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. One thing with all the very speed and star film, is, yeah. Sorry, yeah, Dog Star Man, yeah, it's, it's, it's superb. Yeah. With the, with the, one thing you can do, this is, you know, this is one of those ones that you can watch on YouTube. I try and keep it that way most of the time. But um, I, w- I was just trying to, you know, I was running mm-hmm. out of time. I speed, I sped it up a little, and but then I started slowing it down, going back to Norris, being up and like watching scenes again, like running them at different speeds, which he'd already made the decision to slow this down or speed this up. But then you can kind of reverse that or just like see how it works the other way so it's almost like a little film project of your own in that in that case you can see uh, uh you know using the very speed um 
option on YouTube, you can play alternate reality versions of this film. So that's kind of fun. Like I said, I meant to speed it up, but I ended up like slowing things down and checking out other parts because it turned out I did have a little more time and just like, yeah. like playing with the film. Maybe, maybe that's why it doesn't supposed to have a soundtrack. Like maybe the film, you know, the projectionists themselves can like play, have a game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I know, like, in terms of the speed too. I mean, that definitely. Uh, influences, just, wait, just wait, buddy. Sorry. Uh, Utah, Utah, just wait. Oh, I'm online. There we go. So we got the real life coming through. Just uh, that is online again. Just, just wait. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yes, yeah, so we can maybe edit this one out. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, yeah, I don't edit yeah, these. Um, I'm not gonna edit anything, man. Utah, it's all there. Utah. Okay. Just like, yeah. Yep. No worries. Okay. That's down for the record. Okay. Yeah. Just try to. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, just get my, still got my train of thought again. But yeah, I mean, um, I, I think like as creators, like with some of the music and video we've made, uh, Brackage has certainly uh, come to the fore too. So, I mean, uh, uh, cause I know you introduced me to Brackage and, uh, I, uh, I was definitely, definitely impressed with that, especially the, the rapid fire, you know, the lights cannonading, and it's just magnificent. So you should just, actually, I will do a bit of, I think you should probably repeat that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I just um, You're kind of trying to eat up, is my point. Lights cannonading. Yeah. We'll just, I'll just be, uh, just a minute. Yeah. I don't really understand the concept. Of, <laughs> they don't understand, man. Yeah. Stand you every. Okay, so yeah, okay, so yeah. Sorry, um, um yeah. So uh, I, I know, like directly, uh, Brackage has influenced myself. You know, um, you'd mentioned Brackage to me, and um, when I checked out his videos, you know that rapid fire light imagery just the speed of sound and you know the which the computer would not let you do i remember the, the computer would not let you clip those images yeah that quickly. i mean it um it it, it gets sticky it, it gets sticky yeah it gets a bit sticky um technically it can but uh it it, it gets a bit gummed up yeah it's uh it's not the same as practice did it that's what you like things that way too so uh, i mean that's the that's the whole i guess plus of just doing it with like so you know some scalpels and uh some tape or however you edit analog film i i actually don't know because i never got the i mean I, I did a lot of like analog photography you know like with the enlargers and the chemicals and stuff but mm -hmm. not not moving pictures yeah i mean uh i know with doing the novel i've been tooling as you know uh, i've been tooling around with this novel for a couple of years and the editing's a lot like that um uh but it's, it's definitely a labor of love i mean you can't put things in terms of like a monetary value but i mean uh this is uh you know the process of creation is uh, is a vital one and, uh, i remember my mom was annoyed when i was in high school because i had an orchestra trip to uh europe and i you know i had a, i shot all my photos on black and white well, most of my photos on black and white film uh i i processed it myself made the prints myself and i pushed the film meaning um it was normal film it was like 800 speed film but i processed it as if it was a like 1600 speed film which made all of my images from my trip look like i had visited like world war ii or something mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, where's the pretty pictures? I'm like, they are pretty pictures. You just, you do, you don't enjoy film grain, grain enough, you know? <laughs> but I was thinking, you know, despite having you gotta five... You got to change your perception filter, man. Yeah. Despite having five episodes in the can, Dog Star Man was not picked up for network television in the 60s. So that's kind of a bummer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean... um, but I mean, for other folks like uh, Werner Herzog, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, he said of like Brackage's stuff, you know, his films changed his life, literally. Wow, uh, you sound like a dying robot yeah. because of the connection there, by the way. So I guess, <laughs> you know, to Chris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're coming in fine. Can you hear me okay now? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's it's, it's normal want uh, of the connection. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, it's we'll just, have to. Yeah. Okay. No worries. It's just no one worries. of those things, yeah, you know. Yeah, but yeah, like sure. Yeah, but when it hurts up though, like um, just said, Brackage's work had changed his life. So uh, you know those sort of lone wolves and you know brave souls sort of forging out in their own the world, creating what they want to create. Now, one thing I might say, like, okay, if you're like at a party and you're screening this and maybe the project projectionist is playing with the speed of the film, you got, you're playing like groovy music over it. Or, hey, if you're lucky, maybe you've even got like a psychedelic band playing there. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, this movie is like an hour 14. It's, it's a lot of this. Um, mm -hmm. If you're just sitting there watching it, you know, um, especially again, if you're going with Brackage's idea, no, you don't do it with music. That's just, yeah, that's, that's insane. But, um, I, I really do find like getting into, if I'm really going to focus on what he's doing, those shorter ones are like a little more key for me, you know, moth light or uh, black ice, or, you know, you and I had the band glaze of Cathexis going for years, which was named after a brackage film. Right. So. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. You know, or if you like, you know, if you feel like, you know, a very, contemplative mood just sit down with a pad and paper like i did and just um just do some stream of consciousness noting just see what comes out half of it's from your own psyche i think too just well, so. th that's what i do for all of these and then i end up writing things like is that dog in the snow the titular character or is or is that the occasional tits i don't even know Ooh. what that means there <laughs> there was breast milk <laughs> uh, coming forth from this one. Yeah, yeah I did, uh, did notice that. I did pick up on that. Because he's got the other one, um, Water Window. Crap, I just killed the title. But uh, there's another bracket mm -hmm. which actually has a much more explicit birth to it. Um, mm -hmm. bra Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking it up because I should really name that correctly. Water, uh, Window, Water, Baby, Moving has... Like this uh, yeah. one has a lot of gore or oh, well, gore is in like birth gore. We should say after birth gore, but um, yeah, yeah. He had already done like a much more explicit version of that where he did just show like his wife's water birth. Mm -mm 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 I mean, his, his wife giving birth in water, as in that water birth. Yes, yes, yes. That yes. would have been too young for him to be married to if she was just being born, you know? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, um, it's because I think Brackage himself put it down to, you know, it's the depiction of um, like moving thought on celluloid. So it's, um, but, you know, I think with spoken word, often the meaning is lost in the conveyance. So, um, so maybe his, his way of like the very visual depictions um, it encapsulates um, yeah, the thoughts as well as what's behind the thoughts. So, you know, you've got the void there also with what's created. So how blasphemous is it that I, like, insist on putting music to this? And I mean, I guess you did too, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, for me, it was just to sort of drown out the background noise um, of, you know, other classes, because where I work, we're cheek by jowl. Um, you know, for me, the I, whole point is, like... Words, so. Like, I, I want to meld music and images, you know, I don't want someone to, like, if I just want to look at images, I'll look at a book, you know, with, with photos printed. But here I'm like, like, part of the charm for this is melding, you know, I watch Metropolis, which, um, you know, I got a Blu-ray of it. It's got like the uh, originally composed soundtrack being played. And, and that's on the thing. But I'm, I'm real curious and just like throwing different music against it and seeing how it plays different each time. So for me, that's like actually a really useful component um but mm -hmm. i'm also you know i'm way more into music so you know if brackage mm -hmm. is so laser pointed focused on visual art he would want you to watch this without music but yeah i yeah i, I think brackage seems like i watched a couple of interviews and he seems pretty he seems pretty cool about things i don't think he'd uh no i don't think he's gonna beat that, you so. with the wet noodle or anything i'm just saying like he did state apparently that this movie was to be viewed in silence which you know you got silent mm. meditation that's kind of cool all that i do appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying i completely disagree i'm just like from my own experience I'm like i look forward to pairing images like this with you know various music and seeing how the tone changes mm, 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 mm. 
Yeah, I mean, depends on the forum one watches it into. Like, I think in a like a cinema setting, you know, like a you know nice little indie or ambient theater setting, it'd be great just to watch it silent. I think you because you've got like the it wouldn't really be silent system. though. There'd be uh, ambient sound. Oh, There'd be the projector. Yeah, hopefully. but I mean that, that, that'd be it. That, I mean, so people you've got eating that popcorn because it's a popcorn flick. Yeah, it's a popcorn yeah. flick, right? So you'd hear that. Um, First date night. Yeah, I, I was thinking of the, the converse though, and I'm like Beethoven's Sixth Symphony, the pastoral, very evocative of imagery. It's a, you know natural imagery pops to mind. You know, it's like the mm. second movement supposed to be a babbling brook all that sort of thing but i'm like in that case so now i'm coming from the musician snob and i'm like i wouldn't want you to put images to that mm, 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 mm. Daddy, yeah you yeah you, you don't sorry, sorry. You don't, i'm online okay i can ju just wait but okay we're chirping out the music guys, as well yeah. <laughs> guys guys just wait okay just five minutes ten minutes okay you tell you being naughty. I can't just wait. Yeah. But yes. yeah, in that case, I'd be like the image or a book. Can you close the door, Leah? Okay. Get to the movie stage. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is what I usually deal with. Okay. <laughs> See, I'd have to convince okay. Hannah to come in here. She didn't. She didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> but um where was like yeah yeah i'm just like yeah sometimes music like music videos i'm not there are fantastic music videos um and, and even with beethoven six there's like the scene in soylent green with the uh the the beethoven six and that's cool but at the same time there's like a separate narrative that's running there so you know it's, it's more like now it's like the music's actually there to accompany the images more even though they i guess that's why it's such a great scene but uh yeah yeah it's it's weird it's like almost like that's the one thing on this film that makes me slightly disappointed that's it's really like at least the intention is it's a purely visual thing and i'm like no no i want the i want the sound in there too sound and vision getting back to your bowie maybe that's why you're playing bowie over it mm -mm. yeah because i guess you know you sort of got the prometheus elements there and things like that you know sort of a bit of the iconoclasm and uh yeah, but also it's like the positive transformation too. You know, well, it's even beyond positive and negative, but it's like a process of, you know, visual transformation. So mm -hmm. I think that could include the visual. You know, I think it's it's a big universe they created in, in that celluloid, and I don't think it's it's close to music or right, sound. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that was the thing I was thinking here. It's such a visual thing but I, I want it to be more and i feel like it's more transcendent when it is more <laughs> yeah yeah but uh anyway are there any final thoughts you want to throw out on this one i mean i, I imagine i'll be going back to the bracket well at some point because uh again i named a band after one of his films <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it's um for me it's like a visual depiction of, um, you know, where creation comes from. So it's, for me, that would be like Taoism or some sort of process of shamanism. So it, it, it's loaded with a lot of meaning. Um, and it's also broad enough where everybody's allowed their own version of the meaning too. I mean, it's, um, uh, so it's kind of what you make of yourself self out of it, you know, make for yourself out of it. Because the, the later part of, um, you know, the whole experience too, Dog Star Man, gets a little uh, confusing. So I think there's a lot of ways you can interpret it, a little bit like life. So. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're not, again, I was joking about, you know, the five episodes in the can and didn't get taken up by network te television. This is the opposite of program this is like programming it's like you're supposed to like program what you're watching you know <laughs> mm, 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 mm. You're, you're in charge of of working this out the show itself is not going to work any of that out for you so <laughs> yeah actually um just when i was um i didn't have a lot of time to compile the notes um as much time as i'd liked but um i did jot down a couple of things as an impression of brackage's work um, I, I wrote down, this is just like a bit of a stream of consciousness here, but celestial to cellular, nonlinear, kind of intense. You are the light that you see play. Celluloid synthetic insects. 
Never a chance operation, you said, where Pollock tripped his pants. Being fireflies in the bardo, the shaman walks the path of saints. Apply pressure's thumb on eyeball. Spark of phosphines, don't fear the dark. Don't fear much the afterbirth gore. Silent the sound, pierce the arc. Anyway, that's the yeah. okay. last well, couple I, of lines I, I wrote uh, when we were talking. So Yeah, well, I, I guess it's better in, uh, you know, been well like slashing up eyeballs right you can live with that a little more <laughs> anyway yeah you know um you and i uh just plugging away here um you and i made albums with a s uh glazing of texas <laughs> people joke like oh perfect band name i'll name my band that well in the case of brackage i did name the band that so <laughs> it's not a joke there's about what 10 albums you can find yeah, Roving dot yeah, yeah. uh, There's there's electric sages damaged tape. Those are not named after anything in particular. But uh, yeah, yeah, Glaze of Texas. That this this is that rabbit hole. So we're right here. Um, as for this podcast, it's Oral Hygiene Pod at Facebook, Twitter, and such. Or head out for the Patreon, which is um, Podcastio Podcastius. Um, I post oral hygiene episodes there as soon as they're finished. And sometimes that's a month before they go on other feeds. So, you know, maybe I'll have like groovier bonus content at some point. But right now, if you do want to support this one, you'll you'll be on you're, you'll be with the, the early hip crowd. So <laughs> yeah, and just also want to say thanks everyone for listening and also to um, the memory of um, Stan Brackage. Um, thank you. Much respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love mean, you. Love the brackage, man. You got to send us a love note back. A love note in the form of a, a, a blood infested, beyond fleshy, ball thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just don't come after me with that axe in the woods there. Right. <laughs> the colors are beautiful and experience. Just yeah, yeah. yeah leave, I mean, leave that to Harrison wow. Ford and a CGI dog, you know? 